Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn about the browser commands. So let's begin. When you're automating any web application using Selenium, so in, you might also need to interact with the browser. So for example, if I go to the browser here, you want to maximize this one. You might need to refresh this one. You might need to close this one. So these are basically are the browser commands. So we will be using the browser command in order to perform these actions. So now let's go to the Python here and let me create one file here and let me name it as browser commands and let me copy the basic lines of code from here and paste it here. Okay. And also we need to import these things simply here and we are good to go. Now, if I remove this line from here and let me remove these things from here as well. And now the first thing is that we need to navigate to the particular website. For this tutorial, I am using this orange HRM demo website. So let me copy this one from here and let's go back here and provide this one here. And now uh, let's try to run this one and see what happens. And simply it will open the Firefox browser and it will open this particular website in there. And sometimes you might face this problem as well because this problem occurs when your browser is not updated. Okay, so let me update this one. And once it will be updated, I will execute this again. Okay, so let yeah, so the update is done. Let me close this one and now let's run this again and see what happens here so you should open the firefox browser and it will open the particular application okay so here you see that it's not opening into a complete browser or the maximize option okay so let me close this one here and in order to use maximize this one so simply driver dot you see that we have a maximize we have minimize so if I go with this one, so it will simply maximize the browser. So run this again and see what happens here. So I should open now and I should maximize this browser here as well. So it's loading and you see that it maximized this browser here as well. Now let me close this one from here and now let's try to minimize this one dot then we have minimize and now let's see what happens here so let's run this again and see so it should open and see now what it will do so it's opening the orange and demo website here and you see it minimizes the browser and from here actually i'm opening it again so that's how you can minimize the browser here. And then uh, if I go here, dot, we have another method which is known as full screen window. So this time, let's run this one and see what happens. So simply, it will go there and let's see what it will do. So maximize and full screen are basically two different methods here. And there's a slight difference between there. So now you see that it's not maximizing the browser. It actually opened the application in the full screen, right? So I need to hover above to see it here, right? So that's the difference um, between the full screen and the maximizing. Okay. Now uh, let me change it back to dot maximize. And once it is maximized, now what I need to do is that I need to show you about the back, forward and refresh here as well. So simply uh, driver dot find element by dot. So I go here and open this or I'm here. Let me go here and copy this one from here. And let's open this one here and see what happens so simply if you go here and this is a forgot your password link 
okay uh, if you click on this one so it is redirecting the user to the this reset password screen okay so let's try this one and uh, let's click on this one and see what happens here so for this one uh, let me go here and open this one in the chrome because we have the selectors up here and through which we will actually look at this element we will get the desired locator from there just click right click on this one and let me inspect this again to ensure that we are actually locating the correct element then go to the selectors up here and you see that we have this particular CSS selector so let me copy this one from here let me go back here so by dot CSS and the value of the CSS okay once we have this one so simply we will click on this one and now after clicking on this one the user is basically on the forward password screen okay so simply very really easy driver dot back okay and but before that let me put some international delay here so that we can see the execution properly so i'm uh, you know putting a delay of five seconds so again let me copy this one and let me paste it here and after this basically again i'm putting some delay here and uh, in order to move forward so simply driver dot you will see that we have a forward method here it will go and forward this one and now again i will put in some time here and after that if we want to refresh the page again it's really easy here simply go here driver dot refresh method and it will refresh the page okay and now let's run this one and see what happens here so simply it will go to the browser it will maximize the window it will navigate to our hrm website it will click on the forgot link then it will click so you need to observe the above browser arrows here on the top left so you see that we are the forget password now it will move back after five seconds then again we will move forward using the browser this one and after five seconds we will be refreshing this one so you see that it's refreshing right now okay and also if we want to you know after execution of the test we want to close the browser all right so what what we will do is that simply go here driver dot close okay and now if i go here and let me close this browser from here now so this time it will again execute the same steps and at the end of the execution it will close the browser as well so when you are actually automating the applications after the execution you need to close the browser you don't need to create the multiple instances of the browser because it will make more heavier and unrealistic tests okay so again you will see that it's using the browser navigations here and once the navigations are done and eventually it will close the browser at the end of this execution okay so it refreshes now and after that once it will be refreshed the browser will be closed so you can actually use these methods from here and also when we talk about our first test here so here you see that we are talking about the title so again the title we are getting the title using the driver dot title and here the title is a property not a method however this maximize window then if we talk about uh, this minimize window then we have full screen then we have back we have forwards we have refresh close so all these are basically a methods here okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial